Oh, hey, hey, y'all. Me trying to sound like a serious country boy here. <laughs> Welcome back to the second episode of the Live Hunt Fish podcast, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back, he says. We're trying to act a little more professional, so first of all, we're just kind of going to apologize for our first performance. Laying in my bedroom, eating gummies. <laughs> I was on a little too much sugar that day. Yeah, day. watching Dale Brisby. <laughs> Um, but according to the YouTube algorithm, I, since I posted that video, y'all liked it. Y'all liked the episode. So we're going to try and do a couple more of them here in the near future. We are comfortably sitting in Aiden's business. Yep, this is my business. This is office. This is what he does right here. We're sitting on his handiwork. You probably built these yourself. That's right. That's right. So uh, he does furniture for y'all that are wondering if we left you in the dark. But today we're going to kind of talk about the, we already covered the topic of fishing last week. And don't worry, we will cover that even more as the summer goes on. But like I said last time, it's springtime. That means them thunder chickens are gobbling their heads in. They're thundering. And it is also... High time we did some other topics too, so we're kind of going to cover the like the podcast is called Hunt Fish Live. We already covered the fish, so we're going to do the hunt and the live part. And I I don't think people know exactly what we mean when we say live. It's not just mean oh live. That's not just for the name. That's actually got a purpose. There's a reason it's in. The, the name of the podcast. Because we're going to be talking about life. Yeah, we're, son. Gonna, we're going to talk about like, I mean, hey, we're like, we don't want to be shy about the fact that we're Christians. We love God. We want to be just out in the open with it. We don't, we don't want to hold it back. And that's something we'll talk about here after a little bit. And kind of something I want to do is like, so I've got an episode coming out here on Friday, a uh, YouTube video. This is going to, Try and drop this. I'm going to try and get this uploaded by tomorrow night, which will be Thursday night, the 29th of April. It's the 28th, I think, right now, if I'm not mistaken. I could be a little wrong with the dates here. You know but what? I'm going to go find out. We can wait. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I'm wrong, you know what? Just will be proved. I'll be proved wrong, and you know what? If I'm right, well, hey, I'm apparently slightly good with dates. There we go. But I just finally... I was in a two-year rut without killing a turkey, which sucked. This rut. man killed more turkeys than I did last year. None. He yeah, did. I thought that, I didn't kill one that wasn't last year. Well, that was the year before, wasn't it? It was 2021. That was 2021. Can I tell you the terrible, honest truth? Tell Wait, me. No, I have gone. That was the second last time I've gone turkey hunting. When did you go? Wait a minute. Recently, you haven't gone this year? My been. F- no, I haven't gone this year. Oh, that. I just haven't made time for it. And your brother goes and limits out. Shout out to you, Austin. We know you're on. Your, we know you're on your way up to South Dakota to go get you a Miriam Slender chicken. Yeah, why aren't you taking me turkey hunting? Hey, hey, if you listen to this, hit your boy up. Hit your brother up. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm sorry if you hear a serious echo. This is a shop, so. There's a little echo going on, but hopefully these mics just kind of catch just our voice. And whatever else needs to be caught on video. Sasquatches. <laughs> First off, we got to introduce Little Buddy here. What's little Buddy? Little, what's Little Buddy's name? It might actually be Little Buddy. Gerald? I always loved the name Gerald just after Gerald Swindle. Gerald? Gerald? Gerald Clementine. Gerald Clementine. Hey. hey I was going to stick. Gerald Clementine. Yep. Hey. Don't know if we're copycatting some of his name there, but hey, his name is Gerald Clementine. So welcome to the show, Gerald. Um, but as you can see, we're trying to be a little more professional. I think I mentioned that already at the beginning. I did. So, and anyway, we're going to dive right into this. I'm going to tell about the turkey I just killed. The episode is coming out on Friday night, like I said. But I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a backstory. And... And then Aiden's going to tell the story of the turkey he shot a couple years ago. A really, really cool story there. But, and I also have footage of that, so I'll probably make a video of that as well. 
Newsflash, I missed the first time. Hey, spoiler alert. But anyhow, we're going to dive right in. So this, this turkey season has been rough. And then last turkey season was really rough for me. I missed three turkeys. And the first two were legitimate actually misses. Like, very good reasons. And so I have a Mossberg 835 Ultra Mag that the rear sight is adjustable. So it's got a little pin that you can, that sticks up through the main sight to where that's what holds it in place is this pin. And somehow the, my sight had been bumped off the pin. And my sight was just free floating there. And it was moved off to the side of the gun. And in the heat of the moment, I just didn't notice it. And I got within 30 yards, belly crawled within 30 yards of this big old long beard. And, and clean missed him. Um, yeah, it was hmm. embarrassing. I think I missed him three times. I emptied my gun at him. And every time I missed, just because duh, my sight wasn't there. So that, that one really... That sucked. Ask any, like, I don't know if you can ask any of my buddies that I called right afterwards, but I think I was really mad. I think I texted, like, four guys. Just, like, mad. And then, yeah, that one really sucked. And that was opening week. I think that was, like, four days after the season opened. And so I was like, well, shoot, there's more time. I can I can still get it done. And rightfully so, I should have got it done. But, yeah, just hard luck on me. The next turkey was... Literally within 80 yards of the place, I missed the first one. And I called him up out of this bottom, up on top of this ridge. He come in just strutting, spitting and drumming. And just, I mean, just textbook, read the book, came right to me. He got up within literally less than 20 yards. I would literally say he was 15 feet from me. Like, no joke. He was me and two gun lengths away from me. And I've got a five-foot gun, maybe. Yeah. How did you miss? That right there, the whole, like, the wad, like, so if you all know shotguns, they all have a wad that holds their pellets that hold a pattern, and the wad was still intact at that close of a range. Did it just pop them out, or did you even hit them? I clean missed him. Like, I think I knocked some feathers off the back of his neck. But if I would have hit, that sucker's head would have been... Oh, musket gone. ball. Yeah, it would have been a straight musket ball hitting that sucker right in the head. It would have clean knocked it off. It would have been... And I was, what happened was I was laying uh, like I was laying sideways to a tree. He came up on the opposite side of the tree from me. And I had my gun laying over, so I just sat up. And he kind of poked his head up, and I shot. And I think what ended up happening is I actually... Something I found out is later on is the wad was still so tight as well, it hit a branch that was off that tree. It was a fallen dead old big old oak tree. And the wad I seen had hit and skipped off of it. And it was just right there at the turkey's head, but it was enough to deflect it away. And also, there was another chance gone. The next one's not even worth telling because I literally just shot a Hail Mary at a 70-yard shot at a turkey just because he was running away from me. Get back to you. <laughs> like, get on back to your old son. But... Praise the Lord, I finally actually got one down. And that, like you'll see in the video, guys, that was a literally a, a god bird. He just sent it to me. There was no reason I should have got that turkey. Seriously, there's no reason. Um, and I'm not going to really just give you a spoiler, so, but I'm just going to say, like, as hunters and as Christians, like, we we love the outdoors. It's something that, like, not all Christians are hunters, don't get me wrong. But the ones that are, we appreciate the outdoors so much. And it's something I've just, like, I've, I've grown up in the country, just a little dude running around with a gun in his hand, killing everything he saw. And just, I, I grew up, like, literally, I would say, as some guys have said, the woods is literally like my church. And... I just absolutely love hunting, fishing, anything to do with outdoors. And, but I think there's balance and something I had to really, that really struck me hard last two weeks ago was I've let hunting and the love of the outdoors take away from my personal relationship with God. And guys, that's something I really just need to touch on is like, we cannot let, like no matter how much we love hunting, no matter how much we love fishing, 
anything to do with outdoors, no matter how much we love anything in general, we can't let simple little idols get in the way of our walk with God. And that's something also, like I was in Georgia just last weekend at a youth conference, and that's one thing one of the speakers was talking about is idols. And it really just had a, it hit home because it was something I was already going through. And it was just like, like shooting this turkey, I had gone, like I had to literally just be a couple weeks ago, like literally I just, Hayden can tell you, I came to talk with him. And I was literally crying. I was just like, I did not feel God's hand in my life. And I was, and I knew I had to do something. I was like, I'm, I'm empty. I'm letting stuff get in the way of how I, my perception of God. And I was starting to blame God for non-successes and hunts and stuff like that. And it, and it was something I had to really deal with. Like I, I had to break myself. I had to humble myself so much. And also something I had to think is like, I have this platform and on YouTube and am I using it to truly honor cool if I got, or am I using it to make myself just feel good and act like I'm, um, sharing, sharing the gospel. And that's something I also had to think of is like, how am I using this platform to honor glory for God, not just to make myself feel good, but to actually truly be sharing the love of God. And that's just something like, like Aiden, he's always helping me in my videos. So that's something we're both trying to do in the making of videos is just, you know, just be a good, good example, I guess. Mm -hmm. And shooting and like literally when I shot that turkey, like I said, there was no reason for me to have got that turkey. Like situation, the way the situation played out, I should not have got it. And it just felt like a pat on the back from God just saying, you know what, you're good. We all go through a hard time. It's a, it's not an easy life, but like literally I just, it just felt amazing. I, I just, if anybody would have been around that woods, they would have heard me yelling because I shot the turkey and I went running up to it. I grabbed it <clears throat> and I sat there and I was just like, yeah, thank you, Lord. I just yelled that probably three or four times. I just, like, I'm all, like I said, I love the outdoors. And I got kind of like, I didn't get, just, I didn't cry, but I was just very, inside I was just like, you know what, I don't deserve this at all. And that's, you know, I had to, and just humble myself. And like I said, felt like a pat on the back from God allowing me to kill this turkey. So that is the story. It will come out Friday night, like I said. And uh, we'll try to cover a little, couple more topics. We may actually hit fishing a little bit tonight because we got a big tournament that's happening right now that I've been keeping up with. I, like I've called Aiden in the last few days. And I'm like, do you check this out? And he's like, no. So, but here I want to hear his turkey story first. We'll dive into the uh, MLF heavy hitters. Just a okay, second. I have fallen off the rails. Doesn't mean I don't like it. It just means <laughs> my time has been underwear. Other places. Other places the man's been weed whacking them. Pour weeds out in his yard and throwing them around with a lawnmower. Little X Mark Zero turn 60 inch deck, right? Did I nail that or what? It might be. A 56 inch? <laughs> Ours is a 60 inch one. Like, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's a funny story. Is like a few years ago, Aiden, we used to be neighbors. So he used, to, I used to live literally right here at this house. We still own the house, but we moved back into the woods. And now I'm just uh, off the, I'm off the, the grid. Out in the country. Out in the country. We are, we're like literally even right here, we're out in the country. If y'all, if like seriously, if y'all haven't heard of this place in Tennessee, Come check out Muddy Pond. It's a serious tourist trap in the fall. We got a giant sorghum mill. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's all, yeah, it is sometimes a little annoying. <clears throat> so, like, like, I'm not going to get shy about where I'm from. Absolutely. I like, I'm from the South. I love to share where I'm from. I'm like, you know what? If I have a big, like, seriously, at this point, if I have a super fan that wants to come see me, I want them to come see me. Because I'm just like, like 65 and an old man. I honestly wouldn't care because if they're going to if they're going to put in the time to come track me down, you know what? Hats off to them. Come track me down, but I don't think I have a super fan yet. Hot side, you kidding me? Oh, yeah, there's this old guy. There's this, there's this old YouTuber. A little bit. Yeah. Um, old no, but like, like I said, we we used to be neighbors, and we literally one time he had to stay up at our house for a while because his parents were gone, and we literally he had to mow his lawn. 
and we came down here and chased each other around on his lawn with the lawnmowers. Our, my parents were gone for something was happening. My parents were gone, and I was there for like two weeks. And then my siblings were gone, and I wasn't old enough to stay by yeah, myself. Three, four years. And ago. I had my little sister. Yeah, it's been a while, I know. It's been on in our yard. So we jump on the old Bobcat and X Mark and come chase each other around. My Bobcat whooped you. <laughs> you talking about that? I think me and Bradley, we literally did that yesterday. <laughs> Um, hey, if y'all haven't had a lawnmower race on a zero turn mower, y'all are missing out. So I was mowing, Bradley comes up and he's like, hey, you know, wanting to throw the old baseball around. I was like, well, I really need to get this done. He's like, oh, comes back later with his mower. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So we got our front yard done in 15 minutes. Only? Which normally, only 15 minutes, dude? We had it done in five. <laughs> not even. Listen, dude, there's no way you're beating that record. How fast you mowed your lawn? It takes like if I do it by myself. Yeah, I can see it. You got enough trees. You got enough trees, and you got all those little fruit trees. And then talking the front yard and the backyard. Oh, and the backyard. I'm talking about just the front yard. Dude, we were boogie. We boogied it, dude. I tell you, we had that sucker done in ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. We got everything done in fifteen minutes, which is crazy all together. We thought about trying to draw Trump in the back. I started, and then it's terrible. Yeah, and we're like then. We didn't know how that would work out. Was that? When was that? That was like, that had to be, that, no, that was 2017. That was like five years ago. ago. Like, we were like 11 and 12. Brother. 13 and 12. 11, 13 and 12. Yeah, because I'm 17. 13 and 12. 13 and 12, 13 and 11. My goodness. Now, you have been 12 because it was late summer. Sure enough. Holy cow. Anyway, we got on a rant, so let's hear Monstrosity. A, monstrosity. <laughs> let's hear Aiden the turkey story. This is about, this was from 2020 <clears throat> youth turkey season. Austin did take him hunting that 20, time. 20, hey, we're not criticizing. If Austin, if you listen to this, we're not criticizing you. We just like, heck, we, love heck, heck, we love heck, we love heckling you. Bands we work together as well, so. Yes, sir. Okay. It was a, um, it was a, Start out like a story. It was a beautiful, cloudless morning. That's cat because I was out there. I was out there that same morning with my sister, and it was like it was not cloudless. <laughs> so we had. Um, first off, I'm coming off hot. I just killed my first deer. That's the fall before that juvenile. Me and Austin. I was with Alex when I shot it. Not that close, but like, you know, so don't beat it. <laughs> we had a, um, we had, uh, hunted every day of juvenile, of the last week of juvenile. And yeah, we had gone down to a different unit, and like, most of us limited out, and Aiden didn't see a deer. I saw a bunch of them. You there. saw a bunch, but they were like, like 600 yards away. Yeah. I should have shot them. Could have. But somebody was shooting at them from on top of the hill. Would have been, uh, good old John Hoover. Josh, the Josh. No, it's Joshua. It's Joshua. Joshua, if you listen to this, we're, we're rambling on about all our friends. Joshua's my cousin, so give him a shout out for nothing. Joshua, hey, be hanged. Fast good. Anyhow. <laughs> so, they're out there. Should have shot, didn't shoot. Then I spent the rest of my morning sleeping in a heated blind. In a heated redneck. Blind. No wait, those are muddy. It's not redneck. It's a muddy. It's a hard case. Yeah, it's a muddy, muddy, like, muddy hard case. Like a hard little round. I looks don't like know a tree trunk. I had a better hunting experience. It's hard nice. not getting in here. It sucked that we lost the hunting lease though. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's sad. It's okay. Yeah. Hey, things come and go. Old Taromatic. I'm gonna have to bleep that out because I can't be just giving out names. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I know what time it is to make mine. Okay, so um Missed. Didn't get a chance to shoot a fifth year. That was the year before, year after. Hey, I'll be, never mind. So we had been <laughs> hunting all juvenile week and we were like, man, I was trading off between my two older brothers. Love you guys. If you both listen to it. I highly doubt it. Some one of my other ones does, but you know. So he, we had went and um, we had to give the Austin a break. He'd been 
pouring his life and soul into his little brother, trying to get him this deer. I think. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> so we hunted Saturday morning, Saturday evening, Sunday morning. Didn't do we haven't even we've Didn't seen two squat. deer this whole week. It was just we were just busting it out, you know, like they do. Anyhow, Sunday evening. We are 30 minutes before shooting light closes. And what you know about this, there's a group of four does. Listen, my first deer was not a buck, okay? Mine, okay, just because mine, nobody has to have a first deer as a buck. Yeah, no, but Neither I still was my sisters. shot a buck. Anyhow. <laughs> I should have let you shoot that one last year. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, did I have a chance to shoot a buck last year? No, that one I missed, or that one I hit on opening day rifle season, that video never came out. I hit one, and then the neighbor found it. I didn't know I hit it. <sighs> And then we literally went to look for an eight point gun busting out of the woods and Aiden had a gun. I should have let him shoot it. Come but on. I was on, I was only allowed two deer on that property and I wanted my sister to come shoot the other one. I was being a selfish idiot. Yes, you know. <laughs> Not I was, I'm admitting it. Anyhow, to come out, it was I think it was ended up being like two thirty. They're out there and there's a little ravine down the woods listening. You mean like two thirty, two hundred and thirty yards? Yeah. 23.0 yards, no, 230 yards. So these deer like to, there's a bunch of big hay fields back there and they would come across and then there's this little ravine that they'd always dip down in. Well here they come out and we watched them for probably 15 minutes. This is like just before dark. And um, they come up and uh, Alex was like, okay, shoot the one. They're like, okay. Sitting there, <laughs> that scared the absolute garbage out of me. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> terrible <laughs> little idiot. Anyhow, I'm sitting there shivering, looking at this dish scalp. It's a miracle I hit it. It really was. Anyhow, me and my little blue snow gloves, <laughs> two freaking dropped her. Hard shot. Didn't go five yards. Didn't go twenty. So we get the fuller out, and then, never mind. Anyhow. Weren't we talking about a turkey story? Got that. Anyhow, so Same farm, though, that he killed this turkey. And then this, next year, next spring, we, um... Back to Austin again. Back to my dearest brother. Oh, he was... Yeah, it was amazing. It was a lot of fun. I cried a little bit. Kept saying, you my cow. <laughs> anyhow. But, so we had gone, man, I think we'd gone twice before this, I think. And no, that was opening before. morning. That was opening day of juvenile, because I remember uh, me and my sister went out. In fall season. Did you went turkey hunting in the fall? No. Wait, yes I did. Yes we did. I ain't never done that. I know I should try it. Oh, man, who cares? Anyhow. We had seen these two toms. One split for the banana fields. The other one <laughs> was in <laughs> We don't have bananas. They saw in us. In mid ten middle Tennessee. They saw us. And um, Are we talking about opening morning? One or? split. No, not yet. We need to get to there. So we start <laughs> belly crawling towards this thing. We chased this thing for an hour and a half, two hours. Ended up. <sighs> lost track of them. Didn't get, get it, it didn't back get yeah. Which leads us to this morning. The, the, the next spring. Very tired. Woke up. Drank probably the strongest coffee I've ever drinking. Well, if I can say just real quick, because I remember waking up that morning, and like there was major thunderstorms. If if any of you are from Tennessee, from Middle Tennessee to East Tennessee, there was a bad storm coming through that opening morning of juvenile turkey season. Because I remember like. Watching some guys that I watch, I don't know, like Spring Thunder, like guys out there, and they were like they were trying to beat this storm, and a lot well, of guys call them Thunder Chickens for a reason. Yeah, brother, when there's that condensation in that air, and chickens thunder love chickens to do. get thunder, okay? get thunder, and they um, couldn't ask. Didn't them. you go roost them the night before though? I think did we? We did. We did. We did, anyhow, they were way up on this ridge. I forgot about roosting them. They were way up on this ridge. Got a couple little... You know, 
Oh, oh. The little owl who's little going owl on. Action. Hey, that is a way, to, like, seriously, guys, that is a way to kill a turkey. As little, as little, that's something we're going to cover a little bit here as well. As that light work. keeps flat. Yeah, if that light keeps bothering you guys, it's, yeah, I'm sorry, right. don't bother me. And I'm just I'll, kidding, it does. So, I am. Pretty soon, came out the next morning. I was tired. I didn't really want to wake up. Anyhow, so we get there a little bit later than we should have. And they um, dead quiet. Hold on. When he said he didn't want to wake up, opening day of rifle season last year, I had to come. I literally had to sneak into his house at 5 in the morning, go upstairs, past his parents' bedroom, Sneak inside, past his brother's bed, and shake him awake, and then high tail it back to my truck in the parking lot. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Back to your when I tell you turkey that story. Apex Legend stands go late with my little Dorito hand. No, I'm joking. I don't tell you. <laughs> Them, those keyboard warriors right there. Little keyboard warriors. <laughs> no, I was not gaming. I went to bed way too late. Anyhow, that's what happens when you go to bed on Friday nights, guys. Who cares? Cause it's a Friday night. You just go to bed late. So dead quiet. So we um, you just start doing things, man. Start dancing out in the. No, we started a. Uh, started out at the beginning of the field where Austin shot his turkey. Um, last year I think before this and. You he shot one this year too already. So he throws a couple crow calls out there and sure enough gets the <laughs> to shot probably. So we're like, well, we gotta hightail it now. Run out there. And they uh, post up. It's uh we're in pine trees and um it's like this little pass, this little grassy patch between two the bottom hay field and the top hay field. And they um we posted out there probably 20 yards off the field line. And it's not thick pine. It's like kind of scattered around. But I was up under a little evergreen tree. And sure enough, here comes this weird, like, little movement in my road here. And then here they come. There's four jakes. Four jakes by themselves. And they come. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Well, so the tom- Did hmm? you kill the Tom in the group? Well, there's a Tom, I'm saying. There's like oh, there two was, Jakes and a long beard. Yeah. Sorry. Anyhow, so I'm losing my mind. Oh my Goodness, God. Oh I'm my actually going to have to shoot it, a live animal. You're sounding like a vegan right now. Mm. I do love me some celery. <laughs> Yeah, so they're coming, and I am sitting there shaking. What in the world? My gun is down. I was being, I I didn't have my gun up. And then you've got us pretty well pinned, like where we we couldn't move really. And there's this little group of trees, and this group gets behind it. And I quickly get the gun up, and Austin looks at me, don't move, don't move. I said, Austin. And I didn't want to talk to him, I was like, he didn't know that they're behind the trees from my point of view, so he was a little annoyed at me at first. Anyhow, so they get in there about 20 yards. I mean, come right in the decoy. They put one of the prettiest shows I've ever seen turkeys put on. All sorts of spitting and drumming and look, look pushing each things. other around, being bullies. <clears throat> Anyhow, they come in, and how it works is his tongue's in the back, just dragging his little self along the ground. Big self. Big 20, well, 1, 22 pound self. I think it's 22, 6. Yeah. He happens with like a group turn, so he comes like closest to me. Like, well, now's my chance. And I was so worried about not moving. There's a cat. <laughs> I'm scared to live in daylight time. <laughs> cat out the door. So, I was so focused on not moving. My head was still. It, and if you, yeah, I don't know, I was not paying attention. It's like you kind of, you don't black out, like where you can't see anything, but you kind of just like lose. And you're so hyper and crazy, you know, adrenaline, adrenaline just like, going crazy. can't think. 
It's like that intense face, warrior face. Puffer face. Looking thing. Looking. <laughs> mm, poker looking little face. Anyhow, so they come, they come in, and here's my chance to shoot. And I had, Bang! <laughs> I had my gun in my head above my barrel. Like, it wasn't, I wasn't down around. How the shit turns my back. And you're hurting my heart. You're shocking it. Anyhow. <laughs> so, I wasn't all the way down and looking straight down the barrel. I was up a little bit, which was... Me being on the turkey had the river just a little bit higher than it should have been, if that makes any sense. And y'all, I go bam ba lam and at this mamma jamma, shoot right over it. And all of a sudden, like, shoot again, shoot again. I was like, okay. BAM! <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> and y'all, so, yeah, I don't know, man. It was crazy. He nailed it. It's crazy that it worked out. And y'all, so this. He, it's like he didn't know what was going on. Okay, I was up under a tree, it looked like a branch. Yes, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. You don't know, real tree right there. So, he comes running out of it. He's probably 25, 30 yards now. This time, I figured out what I've done wrong, level down, level on, and man, can't stop the flop when you got him. Michael, what else? Famous saying, can't stop the flop, baby. So, he was down, and then. One of the most beautiful sunrises I've seen at that point. Anyhow, after all that, we're out. Oh, my God, I'm tired. Yeah. Get to the truck. We are not two minutes down the road, and it starts absolutely gully washer. So, a frog yeah. strangler. A duck drowner. I don't care what you call it. I was driving home in a side-by-side -side with this stuff coming down. Yeah. We we'll come up to the local hangout joint, the old country port. The country ports. Check it out on Google Maps. You can literally find where we both live from there. If you are, if you're an Onyx person. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go find Aiden. I don't care if you find me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna guess my. You ain't gonna guess my dad's name though. So you're not gonna find the the landowner. <laughs> Did you actually whisper? <laughs> no, of course not. I thought you need some business though. Hey, two of the metal roofing. Yeah, we do metal roofing. Hey, y'all. So that was that. Damn. Yeah. Cater out. Good the stuff right there. Then... So, guys, also the one thing I want to announce here on the podcast as well. I'm going to do a video of this here soon, but uh, I am doing a bow giveaway. This is my, like, it's going to be actually a so giveaway. You can that... save it just give it to me. No. Since I'm you sure. preach too much hoidism at me. I ain't gonna let you just have it for free Boy, unless he wins it. That'd be so funny. If he wins it, you know what? Hey, if he wins it, he wins it. I don't care who enters in it. But this is, I'm giving away my Matthews V3 27 inch. It's gonna be fully outfitted. I don't, and it's gonna have, it's got a one pin HHA sight. It's got the regular Matthews quiver, six, six arrow quiver. It'll have a Matthews Q80 mm -hmm. uh, rest. And a what release are you gonna I don't I could give a release. But uh So you basically all they need to do is get arrows. Yeah, all you all you're gonna need to do is get arrows and uh I'll have more details about it, but it's a uh it's a sixteen hundred dollar setup right there. Bare bow and uh yeah, it's gonna be a sweet giveaway. So uh, I'll give more details, but just a heads up, it's gonna be out of thousand subscribers, we're gonna do it. And yeah. So y'all definitely stay tuned for that. But shoot, I had something else I wanted to cover, but what was it? All right, guys. Enough with our ranting on there a little bit ago. Actually, my camera died, and uh, it's a good thing it did because we went on for another 15, 20 minutes. I was just ranting about random fishing stuff, stuff you didn't really want to hear. So uh, we're going to stop right there. Sorry for the abrupt finish, but we really appreciate you guys listening, and thank you so much for your support and listening to us just go haywire i got some mics i'm really sorry for that echo in there um i will actually kind of work on the volume a little bit with that in the editing of this so we again we really appreciate you guys support thank you for listening and uh like i said earlier with the uh, bow giveaway we will be doing a matthews v3 giveaway here so i'll get a video of more details coming out here sooner or later um sooner rather than later but 
like you know, guys, I'm I'm kind of swamped right now, so it may be about a month, maybe perhaps about a month before I get an announcement going. So, again, thank you guys for your support. Make sure to like, and subscribe to the channel, like these videos. You know, leave me some comments. Here's some let's hear some topics you guys might want to hear us cover. And just hear our insight on uh, as much as it may be worth to you or not, but. I'm going to say it one more time, and then we're going to close it out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Amen. And we'll see right. you guys in the next one. Hey, God bless you all. And uh, see you all in the next one.